Hi, my name is Joseph Yuba, and I am the corporate executive chef of the Ambergum Plaza Hotel in Grand Rapids, Michigan. What I'm going to show you today is a how to make an easy strawberry jam. First thing we need is um, some nice, fresh, ripe strawberries. First thing you got to do is you got to wash those, and then take out those greens in the back, just like that, and just roughly chop it. Just like that. So the recipe, the recipe calls for five cups of cut strawberries. And for four cups, for four cups granulated sugar. So just regular granulated sugar. Here's one. That's the way it looks so far. Now we're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice into it for the fresh lemon. Here a little trick. Poke the lemon a couple times. Then squeeze it upside down into the bowl. You're catching all your seeds between your fingers. Here again. Poke. And squeeze the lemon upside down. So you catch all the seeds between your fingers. Just mix it together and now we're going to bring it over to the stove and bring this to a rolling boil. Next thing we're going to do is we need to add some short shell into it which is a premium fruit pectin. Now fruit pectin comes in many forms so when you go to the grocery store you can find them in liquid form in pouches and less sugar so I choose this one which is a, just a premium brand uh, middle down the road. There's also always recipes given in the back. And this is basically follows this recipe, what we have right here. So we can add this uh, premium pectin right in here. This helps the jam to chill up when it's cold. So it's nice and spreadable once it chills out. The fruit pectin really helps you when, it, when the marmalade gets cold, the jam gets cold, so it gets sort of a spreadable consistency. So next thing you need to, need to do is you need to prepare your mason jars. You can fill them up with water, with, with hot boiling water up to the, to the rim and let it sit. Or in this case, we have it just upside down here. Uh, and the steam actually sterilizes those jars. It is, of, it is of utmost importance that everything you do when you make jam or jellies, that everything is sterile. So from bringing the jam to a rolling boil to make sure the bacteria is all killed off, as well as um, those mason jars are being in boiling water or sitting under really hot steam, the bacteria are gonna be all killed off. So this is almost boiling here. Well, it is boiling, I should say. What we're gonna do next is, we're gonna use a bar mixer and blend it. So this gets a nice smooth consistency. If you like some fruit chunks in there, you can obviously leave some chunks in there. Nothing wrong with that. Or if you want it totally smooth, you just blend it up. Almost like to a sauce consistency. I'll show you a little trick about this foam here, which is on here. If you add a little tablespoon or a teaspoon of butter in it, this was helped. This is gonna help with the foaming. And we think we're all ready to fill this jam up in the jars. So it's all but important again that this everything stays nice and sterile and clean. So don't be tasting your chain, putting it back in the mouth and putting it back in, in there. You're gonna fill this up to just a quarter inch from the top. Then take your, your screw top, just like this. And this is your lid right there. Just pop this in there and get it on there. So after about 24 hours, come back to the jars and retighten them. Those um, jam last anywhere from a year to two, but I do not hope you're gonna have to stand there for two years in the basement. Enjoy. <laughs>